Oh, okay, okay, okay. What was it? <laughs> I know. Huh. Okay, well. It didn't feel very big, and then all of a sudden the bait popped out. But who knows? It could have been pushing me, too. All right. Good morning, early risers. It's day four. Nate and I are musky fishing on Eagle Lake in Ontario, staying at Cold Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge. Check them out. They're cool people. They have a nice place to stay. I will leave their info in the description below. So this morning we got out as early as we possibly could. We threw our first cast at uh, just prior to 5.30, which is opening time here on Eagle Lake, half an hour before sunset. Sunrise. Sunrise. There you go. See? Sleep deprivation starting to sneak in just a touch. <laughs> Nate has already had a fish on, we think, uh, push the bucktail forward. We didn't get hooks into it, but we've been on an early morning bite, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to start chucking some bucktails at some rocks. Here we go. Oh, shit. Dude, <laughs> hey, 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 that was the ghost follow, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, well, there's our uh, follow for the morning, I guess. I never saw it, but that is a ghost follow. Right there. It's literally right where the you caught your fish, too. They sit there. There's a, something they like there, man. Oh, 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 yeah, she just come up. Well, maybe not her, but. <laughs> wow, first cast and she came up a little late. Check things out. Look, I moved me and we get a follow. Did you see her at all? She just kind of came up and went back down right away. Yeah. Huh. All right, well, to kill some time in the afternoon here, we are going to try throwing some little single eights, Esox Assault, in Fire Tiger and like a shad pattern, and see if we can get a couple of pike for the dinner table. Watch, well, I'll do nothing but catch 29 inches. 28, that's just over. <laughs> what you got? Yeah? Is that? Oh, that is. Yeah, that's probably a little bit too big. Did you think of the tiger for a second? Yeah. Because it did have those. Too big. 30. Wait. Yeah. That's what happens when you try to actually catch some pike to eat. They're all too big. Oh. All right, well, that didn't quite work out as planned. One little pike, that's all we could get. I was kind of hoping we might see a musky, bonus musky doing that. That is not the case though, so off to other things. Yo, 
one, Brian. You got one. Came up real late. Did it really? Yeah. I never even saw it. Oh, yep. there he is. There he is. There he is. I never even saw it. Yeah, you were dragging your bait on the surface. I look and all of a sudden fish right behind it. Really? <laughs> like on it hard? Ah, I mean, it was one of those ones I don't know if it would have gone, but it was pretty goddamn close to the bait. Huh. It wasn't moving. Your bait was just sitting there kind of going at the boat speed. The fish was right behind it. Oh, really? <laughs> I never saw him. Well, there we go. Yay for me paying attention. Real good like. <laughs> so that's the furthest back we've seen a fish on this so far. It wasn't a monster. No. Did I just go around and just kind of stop at that back corner? Yeah, and then you went to adjust the foot pedal. Oh. The fish was just sitting there. You weren't even looking back at God but seriously, the one time, oh, I just hit, hit bottom. One time you go to look at the frickin' foot pedals, the time the fish shows up. There's a fish, there's a fish. Huh. Well, that's two casts in a row now. <laughs> Did you see that one at all? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. I don't think you use the proper nomenclature, dude. I think it's just the lighting's bad. If I would necessarily call it turbid. I'll call it wherever I can. I will want to call it, Brian. Okay. Okay. He's still there. You try that hard at it? What's that? <laughs> uh, yeah, right when you did your recorder here, you yeah. he came out of nowhere and just right behind your bait. Man. Freaking charged it. Because I, I went all the way around and then came down it where, where it dives and then you, you can see better than I can right there. Man, this little guy's getting some looks right now. We just need one to, we've got just under an hour to get one to hit. Ugh. He charged it hard though. Yeah. Hard. Well, that is the end of day four. A little disappointing. We had really good conditions. Some overcast. I mean, it's the really, it's the stuff I like out here. And obviously just because I like it doesn't mean the fish do. Um, so yeah, I don't Seven know. Follows. Seven follows. So it did pick up towards uh in the evening actually we got a north wind blowing um we'll see hopefully in the morning maybe we'll still have a, a nice little breeze going and some clouds if not we're just going to go be dumb and musky fish anyway so it doesn't matter what the weather's doing we're going to be out here trying to get some fish um yeah that's it if you want to there's a couple few videos i'm going to put over here from past canada trips you can subscribe right here i'd appreciate it thank you for watching we'll see you on the next one